machine we're going to be looking at today. So this, this is our new uh, B&J? Absolutely, and you've got live demos on every single machine here on the stand. We can't cover every single one, unfortunately. We picked out kind of three of the best. Yeah, I, I would um, say so. Yeah, and what, what's the upgrade in this? This is the 7. Yeah, so this is um, SY7. The biggest upgrade is the, uh, the sub-spindle turret. So it's been uh, sort of revamped. So the, the, uh, the tooling is interchangeable now. It used to have its own, own uh, uh, style of tooling. Yeah, so but you can swap from the main turret to the, to yes. the sub-turret? Including power tools. Brilliant. And that's one of the biggest things when you're doing setups on lathes. Is, is, is set, tooling setup on lathes is quite an awkward yeah. thing. You've got to figure out where drills will clash, where they won't clash. Yep, exactly that. Um, also, um, Spindle upgrades, like uh, there's more power. Yeah, so the sub spindle's got more power than it did before. Yes. And what does that mean you can do now? Just lean on the machine more. Okay, you fair know, enough. Definitely lean on it. Yeah. Also, the ball screws have gone from 25 to 32 mil. Yeah, so, so bigger ball screws, meaning stronger axis. Yeah. Um, and that's important because this is can do something really cool, right? Yeah, so superimposed machining. So Miano pride themselves on accuracy and efficiency, and um, superimposed machining is one of their, their a really good feature. So. One turret, two spindles, but two tools in cup. So you can use two tools on this and use the, the width of the turret as well as the, the yeah, stations. Yes, yes. If you've got maybe tool sta 12 stations on a tool, that yeah. might not be enough yeah. to make one part in one hit. And that's the whole point of yeah. these machines, right? All the ones we're going to be looking at is all about one hit machining. Yes. And that's, that's one it. thing I love is every single machine has a, has a parts catcher. Yes. Even though they're very different configurations, different ways of grabbing parts. Is that something that Citizen pride themselves on as well as being able to take a part off? It's, it's, it's I'd say last, the last two years, it's designed around automation. So if we can get the part to the back of the machine, the robot is really quick and easy to integrate at that point. Yes. And I guess when you don't need an auto door and the parts come straight out the conveyor belt, it makes it much easier, like you say, to do robot integration. It's a fascinating.